Yeah, real disappointed. Um, you know, we, we've we've had a lot of losses this year, but I think that was the toughest just in the fact that you know it confirms that we won't be in, in, in the top eight. So uh, frustrating to lose the game the way we did, but you know that extra uh, hard when when you know you're not going to be involved with the big boys. Is it even worse coming in well the dying embers of the game as well? Yeah, it's it's, it's just been a weird year all year. It, it's it's really tough and. Uh, the competition's really, really strong, and if you you don't play anywhere near your best, you get beat. And I think we've shown that this year. We've not been great. So uh, having such a good year last year to, to be here is, is a real, obviously a real contrast. You mentioned there you've not been great this year. Do you think you can put your finger on what, why? What, what's what's been different this year to last year? Uh, it's, it's, I think there's a few factors. There's none of them really of an excuse. I mean, ultimately you've just got to play well, and I don't think we've done that on, on enough occasions. But. Um, you know, injuries have obviously had a factor. You know, losing some key players has, but but they're just just reasons. They're not excuses. We've got a great squad, and looking at the squad on paper, we, I'm still pretty sure we've got the strongest squad in Super League. And uh, but we've not performed on the pitch, and, and that's obviously all that matters at the end of the day. So um, no, if we put if we knew what it was, we'd have done that probably week two, week three. But um, you know, we, we, the efforts there, I think that's evident to see. We're just not quite doing the business. I mean, for you, you, you've been around the club a long time. Is this almost the, the worst sort of season that you've been involved in? Yeah. Is this the hardest time that you've had? Yeah, it is. It is the hardest, without doubt. And um, we're lucky enough. You know, some some great players never get a chance to to ever play in finals, but we've been long, lucky enough to, to win in a lot and play and be involved in the big games. But uh, yeah, it's 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 the the toughest season, the hardest season. Um, as you get older, you kind of get used to it. You think you've seen it all, but. This is obviously completely new to all of us who, who's been here since, since sort of the Super League era. So um, it's not a nice place, but we've just got to get on with it and, and, and realise that you know we're in the middle eights and we've got to be good at that. I mean, obviously, it's not a nice challenge for you, but surely it must be an interesting thing to yeah. have a completely brand new challenge. It is, yeah. I mean, obviously, you want to be involved in the top eight and you want to be involved in the grand finals, but this is complete new experience to us, and, and it's something we'll we'll have to rise to the occasion. You know, the size in the the championship below us are really, really good. Um, you know, Super League standard. So, you know, the way we've been playing um, would need to improve to, to beat them teams. So, uh, yeah, it's a fresh challenge and, and it's an exciting challenge in that sense. Without it, you know, obviously we're disappointed to be here, but we've just got to take what we've got and, and, and that's to, to play in the middle eights. Do you think that it's been a bit of a culture shock for, for the players, the fans, and the club in general as to how this season's gone? Yeah, I mean, you know, the. the there was going to be change in a way. Whether it's been this significant, I'm not too sure. But um, you know, every, every team has a bit of a poor stint in the season. But it almost feels like we had a good stint, and, and that, that is the case. That's why we're bottom of the league. So um, it, it's weird. It's, it's a weird one to do. If if you kind of fell down over the years, you know, you could probably accept it. But the fact that we've been from from top to to, to bottom is is, is strange, but but uh, tough. But it's the way it is. It's reality. The, the competition is really really strong, and we've not been good enough this year. I mean, there's been there's plenty of young players in the squad. It, it must be important for you to really put your arms around them and try yeah. and boost them in in these difficult situations. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and you know, when I was growing up, I looked to the older guys. It was similar year to me starting was this. I was near bottom. We got a chance by by injury, and, and the big lads were great with me then. The the younger uh, the older lads, sorry. And that's that's the case now. And the only shining light on this season is really is probably that. You know, a lot of these young lads have got breaded in and, and got a taste of action, which will, will do them uh, great for the future. But, yeah, we're always here for them. We've got plenty of guys who who, uh, who, who lead this team and we've just probably um, got to stay tight and, and look after the young lads as well. It's probably a question you've been asked all season, but are you confident that results can turn around from now till the end of the season? Um, we have, They have to do, yeah. We are confident, but they have to do. And we, we, I've said it every Monday after a loss. Um, so, it's... Um, yeah, it's got to change. We, we can't keep saying we've got to get well, we've got to get good. We have got to get good. There's no, there's no second chance. I mean, you, you know, you lose, you lose uh, the games and you're out of Super League and, and then it really does hit you. So, um, yeah, we haven't got time to, to say we need to be good, we're going to get good, we need to be good next game. Obviously, on a positive note, you're back at the training ground. That must be great that you're actually back in home now. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. It's, um, when you're there every day, you, you, you know, like anywhere at work, you, you, you can't wait to get away from it. But when you... When you're there, you, you realise eventually after being away all, all this time how much you missed it. And you know the building's been, been redone, fantastic. It's been totally renovated, so it's a bit like a, a new home as such. So yeah, it's great to be back there, and um, you know hopefully we can get um, settled in there pretty really quick and, and get back to winning. Do you think that it'll help you to get back to winning ways? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a factor. Um, 
again, not an excuse. I, I want to make that clear that I'm not making excuses. But yeah, it's tough when you're travelling about all different leagues, different venues. But now we're there, where we're all under one, one, one roof, doing everything. Um, yeah, it'll be easier for us, and you know, be able to concentrate on, on just focusing on the rugby rather than uh, where we're training. Finally, Robbie, the the gaff has been under a, quite a bit of pressure this season. Are you confident that he can turn it round? Yeah, as a club as a whole, you know, we. we We've got to deal with the, with the tough, time, uh, tough times as well as the, the good times. So uh, everybody at the club's doing what they can to get out of it. And you know, uh, we've got a great group of players here who, um, who care very much about how we do. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm confident in everybody that can do the right job.